Still down by three runs with that homer, but maybe some steam going here. Well, take a look at this pitch. This ball's up and out of the strike zone, and he's still able to drive it. Question is, how far to the strike zone have you got to be to prevent a solo? More. They'll take it, though, only down two. Well, sometimes pitchers just try to lay one in there to get ahead early in the count. This time he paid for it. Yeah, it looked like he thought he would take that first pitch, so he came down the chute with it. You know, it's one thing to work ahead, but you at least... the plate it opens up the outside part of the plate he goes with the curveball and gets the strikeout starting to wear down out there three straight hits against him he doesn't have the velocity or the bite on his pitches that he had earlier in the game putting a good part of the bat on the ball three hits for him now in the ball game He's out with nobody out. Now you talk about shifting momentum. You get the ground ball double play, and all of a sudden you're back in the dugout ready to hit. Two-out hit right here. That's his third hit of the game so far. Take right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. No contact. Number 14. Now this pitch headed to the outside corner of the plate. He looked fooled. Looked like he was thinking in. And the ball went away. Out this ball game is now over. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today. Allows them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. We've got a moment here. Let's join Jeannie Zelasco and Steve Fiziok. They're back in our studio. Thank you, Gary. And some fine baseball indeed. As we get a chance to award our Pepsi Clutch performer, Steve, it came down to a good bout of hitting in this one. And they had real problems retiring him today, Jeannie. He just kept finding ways to put the bat on the ball, and that's just the name of the game. If you can do that, just put the ball in play each time. You never know what can happen. And obviously, good things happen for him today. And that wraps it up for Hardball Central. Taking a look back at tonight's game, Gary Thorne and Steve Phillips. And Steve, they're able to put this one away in the record books. It's a good victory. Hey, anytime you can go on the road and beat another major league team, you've got to consider yourself fortunate. Thank you all for joining us in this presentation of Major League Baseball.